Hello, and happy Thursday. How is everybody doing today? Get the drawing tagged. Wait for some people to show up. It always takes just a moment. I see, well, now seven. And hopping, there we go, we're good. We are rocking and rolling. How's everybody doing today? Hello. Thursday, for whatever reason, I've been like a day ahead or a day behind. I don't even know. I've had a hard time this week remembering what day it is. I think because um, the distance learning started this week, but it didn't start till Tuesday. So it like threw off my whole schedule in my head um, but I'm doing good otherwise uh, this is our late day of drawing um, but I've been waiting for um, waiting for this and I got a new setup today so I'm excited about that um, so hopefully you can see the drawing a little bit better when I'm doing it remember I'm kind of learning to I'm not um, a professional at this. I'm trying to make um, these videos better as we go along. So, um, so yeah, that's exciting. And um, today we are drawing a manatee, which is actually my favorite animal. I think, I feel like they're my spirit animal, really. And um, so I'm excited about that too, because it's really cute. Um, fun drawing, lots of room for you to work with it and make it um, your own. So um, today I am going to have paper, like always. I'm gonna have a pencil, I'm gonna have a pen. Um, you're very welcome for these classes. And then I just have a couple colors today. So um, I am doing my manatee, this kind of, it looks way more blue to you but um, it's a little bit of a gray blue. Uh, you can make your manatee any color you like, um, but I kind of went with this. Um, we have um, another blue color for the bubbles in the water. I have a little light pink for the cheeks, and then I have a darker pink for um, a little fun thing I added on mine. Um, Mascot Monday, we are doing a dragon this upcoming Monday. So um, we do already have the mascot picked out and that's um, some school districts have, our, have already shared it. So Monday we will be doing um, a dragon, but we will do a jaguar soon. Remember, mascots every Monday, so if we don't do yours this Monday, we will do yours soon. Um, we have a big long list uh, to go through. So those are the only colors that I'm using today. Um, pretty pretty simple um, but you can add um, you know all kinds of colors to uh, to the background um, yes uh, well welcome Melanie you're here these are the drawing classes so you came to the right place um, so are you ready to see what we're drawing today I know there'll be a delay, so I won't even see one of your comments before I flip it around. So you flip it around, you get to see my new setup. So here is our drawing on my new fancy drawing table. Um, I don't know when we're doing a mermaid, but we will do a mermaid. I promise that one's on our list too. So there's our manatee. And you, um, I'm gonna actually probably make him a little bit bigger today when I draw. Um, maybe, I don't know, we'll kind of see what size he comes up. But you have a lot to work with here. So if you did um, your manatee this size, you know, you could add another little baby one here off to the side. Um, you could add lots of like seagrass in. Uh, you could have him on his back. So you could draw them this way on the page, kind of floating through the water. You can kind of play around, you know, like what if he was this way? That's another direction to do him. 
So you can make the make um, the manatee your own, but uh, super cute and very um, very simplistic uh, drawing. And hopefully, with this nice new drawing table, you will be able to see um, the drawing, see it a little bit better. You'll have to let me know at the end if you liked the new setup. Um, so let me get my uh, blank paper ready. And put my manatee off to the side. So to start with, for my manatee, I'm going to start with a shape we commonly start with when we are drawing. And that is going to be a circle. Just like that. We do have a fish on our list, so we will be doing some fish. It won't be today, but there will be fish in the future. So that's the circle for our manatee head. And I'm gonna have the manatee's body kind of starting a little bit high, but it's going to end a little bit lower. So I'm not gonna have it at the same point on both sides. I'm gonna start a little bit over off to the side of the head. And I'm gonna draw a big, long oval shape curves back up and goes into the face. Again, a little bit lower. I didn't do them on the same. If you end up where they're in the same spot, it's not gonna make a difference. And we're gonna end up erasing a big portion of this face line here. I like this already. It's much easier for me to draw this way. Oh, your brother's birthday is tomorrow. Make sure you send me a message on that or comment his name and I can write it down. So for the tail, let's add the tail down here. And the tail is going to be kind of a triangular shape, but I'm gonna curve the edges. So I'm gonna start off to the side here, so it kind of makes the body look like it's turned a little bit. If you put it right in the center, it's gonna really make the body look straight up and down. So I'm gonna do it just a little bit off to the side. So starting over here, I'm gonna come down, like I'm gonna make a triangle, but I'm gonna curve the bottom and then curve it again back in. So it's like a triangle without the point because the point would be up in here. Their tails are kind of like paddles. Matthew, okay, I'm writing that down. I just made a note of your brother's birthday. Now the, f um, the hands, the f like thin hands, they're going to be this same style of shape. It's just gonna be smaller and it's going to have a little bit of a wavy edge. So I'm gonna start the first one over here off to the side. It's gonna be coming into the body. Remember, if your screen is blurry, sometimes we just all have streaming issues because there's so many of us doing this at the same time. Sometimes it's Facebook. Sometimes it's the internet connection. On my side, it's clear. I always let you know if I'm having technical difficulties. So I'm going to start up over here with just kind of a curved line in. And then for the edge of the hand, I'm gonna do three little bumps. One, two, three. Each one got a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna swoop this one right back up into the side of the body. I know we're so much closer, aren't we? I really like, I really like this. It was a good purchase. 
Now we're going to repeat this same shape, but coming in from the other side. So it's going to come from about here. You can kind of remember you bring your imaginary line over and I'm gonna start it about there, curve it in, and then I'll repeat those three little wavy lines that each one gets a little bit bigger and then curve this one will just come back up into the body. So one is connected to the side and one is just connected inside the actual body because I'm, again, I made his body look kind of curved. And I'll give you just a minute to uh, catch up. I know sometimes these shapes are a little bit, um, a little bit more, a little bit trickier. Uh, so I'm going to ask you a quiz question. I have some fun manatee facts for you today because, again, they're one of my favorite, um, favorite animals. So what animal do you think the manatee is most closely related to? What animal is it most closely related to? Take a guess and we'll see if anybody gets it right. No using Google. <laughs> See if anyone knows. Nope, it's not a sea lion. <gasps> not a dolphin. Elephant, you got it. So a manatee's most close relative is an elephant. I never would have guessed that either. I would have probably guessed a hippo or maybe a walrus also, but it is the elephant. And I'll tell you a little bit more about why um, something that the manatee and the elephant have in common. I see lots of good guesses. Yep, walruses, otters, but nope, it's an elephant. So let's give him some tummy lines. I'm gonna do two. Just little curved lines, just kind of giving him a big belly. Oh, see, I, may, I might teach you a couple more things. I'm gonna give you a couple other little fun manatee facts. And I'm gonna go ahead and erase some of this face line because I'm gonna put the nose up in here. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of it up here, but I'm going to erase the rest of it. So I'm leaving just a little bit and then I'm gonna erase it all the way over to where it meets the body, just like that. They are kind of fat. Manatees are like very, um, I I, re I feel like I relate to them because they look like they would just sink. They just like, they look like big, giant, massive stones, kind of like hippos are. They're very robust and large. And, um, but they're so gentle and they just glide and they're just so graceful in the water. It's very, they're very cute. So for the manatee's nose, we're gonna do the number three on its back, okay? So a curved line in and a curved line in like that. So it's a number three, see? Number, number three on its back. And that gives the manatee the nose. And we'll do two little nostrils, which is two little lines, one on each side. And then we'll finish with a little mouth. Now, do you know what the manatee loves to eat? Does a manatee eat meat? What does a manatee like to eat? It's 
for the eyes, let's do two circles just above the nose. So one up here and one up here. Seaweed and kelp. Manatees are what are called herbivores or seagrass. So manatees only eat produce, basically. They only eat like lettuce and kelp and seaweed. Um, they only eat plants. They're, that's what's called an herbivore. They don't eat any fish or any meat. They're vegans. <laughs> Inside of the manatee's eye, let's give two little circles of light, one on each side. So now that we know what the manatee eats, the manatee eats grass, essentially, seaweed, things like that. Did you know a manatee will sometimes weigh up to 1,200 pounds and they eat 10% of their body weight every day? So that means a manatee is eating 100, 120 pounds of lettuce, let's just call it, every single day. That's a lot of food. Can you imagine? eating 120 pounds of food every single day. A lot of you probably don't even weigh 120 pounds. And that really finishes our manatee. I'm gonna add little bubbles in the water. I like to do that when things are underwater, but maybe you're gonna add a whole little sea life around them. Yep, see? You guys learned more stuff today about manatees. You'll all be manatee experts by the end. You'll know how to draw them and you'll know how much they eat. I'm going to do two little action lines over here off of the tail. You know, I just do those two little curved lines makes the tail look like it's moving. <laughs> yep, yes way. So much produce. And then I'm gonna do a little thought bubble up here. And you can do thought bubbles a couple different ways. You could do little dots to a bigger circle. I'm gonna do a little V shape, just like that. And then I'm gonna connect both points with an oval shape. So there's my little thought bubble. They don't really have like visible ears. And then inside, I'm going to draw a heart. Now you could draw some lettuce, you could draw some leaves, because clearly, if they eat that much food, they're dreaming about food a lot. But I'm gonna make mine a little happy love manatee. Yep, a speaking bubble. Speaking bubble or thought bubble. And yep, they can have little whiskers on them. You can add all kinds of little details. I'm gonna keep mine pretty simple. And that is my manatee drawing. So now I just need to get my pen and outline. So we talked about um, what, you know, that they're related, they're most closely related to an elephant and one of the reasons, um, one thing that they have in common with elephants is humans, for example, us. Um, when we're born, we, we get our teeth. We get all of our baby teeth. And then our baby teeth fall out, right? And then we get adult teeth. And the adult teeth that we have, they're our, te our teeth for life. They're the teeth we have. If they fall out, we have to get a fake one put in its place. But elephants and manatees can regrow teeth. 
So if they knock a tooth out or damage a tooth and it comes out, a new tooth will regrow. So just like elephants and they grow, they can keep growing the tusks and keep growing their teeth, manatees are the same way. They can regrow teeth if one of them has an issue. which I guess then there are definitely no manatee dentists are there because they don't need them. If they have a problem with the tooth, they just get a new one. I'm just going over all of these little shapes. You could add some little line details into the little paddle tail if you want. Again, you can make yours work however you like. We all will end up with slightly different drawings by the end. Do my little lines here. And my face. Now my manatee is under the water. That's kind of why I did these little bubbles to make it look like it's under the water. And manatees go both under the water and on top of the water. They have to come up for air. So how long do you think a manatee can hold its breath? How long can the manatee hold his breath under the water? I'm finished with all my black outlines, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase, and then I'll come back in with my pen and color in my eye spaces. Maybe you're still drawing, or you're thinking on how long can a manatee hold its breath? One hour, eight hours, you're all too high. Thirty minutes. So typically it's 20 minutes. Typically a manatee can hold its breath up to 20 minutes, but they actually come up to take a breath usually every three to five minutes. They come up and they take a breath, but if they need to hold their breath and be under water for a longer time, they will hold their breath for up to around 20 minutes. Of time. So my first person to say 20 minutes had the right answer. Yep, 20. Just getting all that pencil off. And now I'll color the circles in, leaving that little circle of light. I'll go around it, make sure I don't go over it, and then I'll color the eye in black. And another thing different about manatees than us is when we take a breath, we only fill about 10% of our lungs with each breath. And when a manatee takes a breath, they fill about 90% of their lungs up with air each time they're taking that breath. So they're basically taking a big, deep, full breath, and then they dive back under the water. Shake off my little eraser marks. And I'm going to color the little heart in pink. But you may have put your manatee thinking about something else. 
or you could make your heart a different color if you did do a heart, or maybe you didn't do that little bubble at all. You just did a different kind of background. And then I'll do my little water bubbles. <laughs> the eraser song, yep, I haven't picked one yet. I still have to figure out how I'm gonna draw and fire up an eraser song at the same time. I'm gonna do all those little circles in blue today. Sometimes I'll just put a little line in them. Sometimes I'll make some of them white or partially white, but today I'm just gonna color all of them in blue. And I'm gonna use that really light pink that I had, and I'm gonna color this little triangle where the mouth is in this light pink. And I'm gonna use this color one more time in this drawing, but I'm gonna use it at the end. You're very welcome. Thank you for drawing with me. And now with this kind of gray blue, this looks so much more blue on camera than it actually ends up um, looking. It's kind of a grayish blue. I'm going to go around and outline, do that outer edge of my manatee. Remember, you can color your manatee any color you want to. So you don't have to do a blue, you can make him more green. You could give him some little green spots because of all the algae and greenery he eats. It's amazing that they aren't just bright green. Make him gray or kind of a brown or make him purple or rainbow. I'm just going around all the edges because I have kind of a big space to color in here. And if I give myself a nice border, then I can color that inside portion a lot faster. Go ahead and go around the tail too, since I'm down here. So tomorrow, um, I know I had mentioned a little bit on what we might draw tomorrow, and I was saying that we might do something from the movie Onward, um, and I thought about doing the van because the characters are a little bit difficult to draw, and then I started drawing the van and realized the van is pretty difficult to draw. So I'm going to completely switch it up, and um, we have had a lot of requests for a certain character. Um, and so we're gonna do that tomorrow instead. So tomorrow, um, for those of you watching, you get the sneak, you get the early announcement. Um, we're gonna draw Forky. So Forky from Toy Story, that's gonna be our drawing tomorrow. Um, Forky is a pretty simple drawing, so it's gonna go pretty quickly. But uh, remember, you know, when we're done with it, you could always add all kinds of extra Toy Story characters onto the page. So tomorrow is Forky from Toy Story. And I am going to watch Toy Story for tonight. because I wanna hear what Forky sounds like and see him in action before I decide how I wanna draw him. So tomorrow is our Forky, and then on Monday when we come back, um, Monday is our dragon drawing. And it makes sense, it's Forky Friday. How perfect is that? I just realized that. We're having Forky Friday.
So we might do a, um, an onward. I'm going to keep thinking on the onward. Um, can you do the fairies trash cans from onward? The fairies are pretty funny in onward. Um, so yeah, I'll keep thinking on that one. But I, I kept trying to do a look, like a practice round. I just wasn't happy with anything and wasn't happy with how long it was taking. So I'll think that one further. But um, Forky has been requested a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. And I'm even more excited now since it's Forky Friday. I don't know yet when we're doing Mario Brothers, but, you know, just keep coming back. I, um, I always announce, if you miss the video, I always announce the night before what we're drawing the next day. Because sometimes when I, I'll be honest, when I do the videos with you guys, I don't know what we're drawing yet. Sometimes I don't decide till the night before. Um, there is a dragon in Onward. So you could make your dragon on Monday more like the dragon of Onward. I'm going to make the hands a little bit darker. Just give some little shadowing, shading, not shadowing, but shading in. Make some of it, his little features stand out. And I'm just doing that by pushing harder. So I'm coming into this space I've already colored with the same color and just pushing a little harder. You can do that if you're coloring with pencil or with crayon. If you are coloring with pen, you will have to pick a different shade to color with. Uh, tomorrow's drawing is at 10 a.m. So tomorrow's our early one. Back on our early, we do our 10 a.m.s on Mondays and Fridays. Do those little belly lines a little bit darker. And just a little darker on this part of the tail. Just adding a little bit extra interest and detail. And I just had a quick little connection error. So if you lose me for a second, I should be right back. It only lasted about three seconds. And it fixed itself. Um, how did I learn to draw? Well, my mom is very creative and she would draw but I just was always um, interested in it. And I just really taught myself, I just by practicing, or there's this stuff you can buy um, called uh, tracing paper. Has anyone ever used that, tracing paper? It's like a really thin paper and you can see what's underneath it. So I would, but I would take coloring books and then I would put a piece of tracing paper on top and then I would draw the design on the tracing paper. And I just think that helped me learn scale. Um, Cause when I first started to draw, all of my drawings were based on, um, you know, popular items. So I was always very good at recreating, um, but I didn't do that much drawing that was like me coming up with my own drawings where now I do that more. I come up with my own ideas too. You could definitely add a belly button in throw one right in the middle. You could also have um, him holding something. I'm going to just leave mine just like that, but I'm going to come back in here on the cheeks and I'm going to give mine a little bit of a rosy cheek with that light pink that I had. So I would say, how did I learn um, to some degree from my mom? Um, but then also just more self-taught. I just practiced a lot. I just would doodle a lot, draw a lot, recreate images a lot. And the more I did it, the better I got at it. And there we go. Pretty quick one today. 
um, drawing books. There's lots of great drawing books that give you like, um, you know, they'll give you ideas or um, they'll give you guides or they'll give you suggestions. It'll say like, fill this page with hearts. Those are really fun to do. So that is our manatee. Um, you could write something in on the page if you want. I'm gonna have mine just still thinking about love. It's my love manatee today. I'm gonna write my name on the paper, my age and where I'm from. And today we have three birthdays to celebrate. Uh, so if you are here, happy birthday. I hope you do something fun for your birthday to celebrate. We have Lola, Izzy, and Caden all have birthdays today. So happy birthday. I hope you enjoy it. And let me flip you around again one final time. I love mine and I love yours. I can't wait to see yours. So make sure when you're finished with your drawing, you have um, an adult help you out if you need to. Take a picture of it. You can be in the picture or out of the picture. Totally up to you. Uh, and then you can post them into the Manatee album on the group or just post them right on the group page. And if you are on Instagram, I'm on there draw with Stacy, same name, and you can tag me there. And um, if you do it within the story and you tag me, I will reshare your picture so all the other followers on Instagram can see. Um, so thank you very much. That, uh, that was fun. That was like a fun, quick, little, easy one today. And tomorrow we're going to do Forky. So get ready for Forky. We had a lot of you request it. I'm gonna watch Toy Story tonight kind of excited actually um and that's it that's all i've got for you happy thursday if you're having fun invite your friends and we'll see you here tomorrow at 10 a.m bye guys